Dungeons and Daddies is a rowdy, horny, violent podcast for grown-ups. Content warnings can be found in the episode description. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the trumpet. A little bit of trumpet in my life. A little bit of trumpet by my side. A little bit of trumpet. Here I am. A little bit of trumpet. Makes me your man. Welcome to Dungeons and Daddies, not a BDSM podcast, a podcast instead about four teens in a world forever changed by the metaverse, Meta. crypto, and an elder Zuckerberg. god that their grandparents unleashed accidentally. Might be. Hmm? Might be. Like, my bad. Oh, might be. Oh. Oh, shit. That's some real teen talk. Man, the chemistry today is on <laughs> off the fire. Charts. My name is Freddie Wong. on fire today. I play Taylor Swift, the rad ranger, anime-loving <laughs> Cool teen who's just scored. Like the Red Ranger, but you're the Rad Ranger? <laughs> oh, the Rad Ranger, oh yeah, yeah. Who's like just that. scored a date to the upcoming dance. Which makes you the Green Ranger. That's true. The Green Ranger was so fucking dope. It's so fucking rad. Do you think the Green Ranger smoked weed? Anyway, Taylor's <laughs> uh, rad fact for this week. Taylor, as a survivalist, as a practitioner of the various weapon arts, has a thing out for throwing stars you might think like oh he likes anime he's a survivalist certainly he's got some throwing stars no no throwing stars we canonically established that you had throwing stars in like the first episode of the podcast <laughs> like any good anime he can change his mind a few episodes <laughs> later don't matter well no. if he has throwing stars he doesn't use them well because he believes <laughs> that throwing stars are actually impractical in actual usage they're they're limited there's so many better weapons you can use but secretly it's because one time taylor set up a cardboard box in his backyard to practice throwing stars and he threw it wrong and he cut his hand and then ever since then he's been scaled from oh, throwing the throwing star so then as a result to compensate he's like throwing stars are actually not no true warrior <laughs> uses throwing exactly. stars they're a fabrication does he have the kukiri do you know what I mean? Like, what's the little knife that Naruto throws? He could never figure out how to throw that well. So instead, <laughs> he just refuses to throw throwing stars. He Anthony, go blade. ahead. Put that. I see that you're typing that into the notes. Great. Just establishing some more canonical. No, moments. I'm tweeting at Jason David Frank, the actor who played the Green Ranger, and asking if he smoked weed. Ah, very ah, good, very good, very, very good. good. He hasn't posted since February 25th, so I'm so not. He's been smoking <laughs> a lot of weed. My hopes are not high. Hey, everybody. My name is Matthew Arnold. I play Lincoln Lee Wilson, the schooled at home soccer kid who's the petrified paladin. Yeah. Does that right? That's wow. your yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm like I mean, so your anxiety over it is very in character. Yeah, okay, so there we go. A little rad fact about Lincoln. I know it's not Halloween, but this fact's about Halloween. Lincoln always has the same costume, mm -hmm. which is his future self as a great soccer player <laughs> on a Aww. team. And then he always gets insecure about it. Like, he always gets it because his dad's like, yeah, you should really envision your future. And he's like, well, I'm going to be a great soccer player. So it's with his jersey. It's on Chelsea. It's, you know, the year 2050 or whatever it is. But he's always like, I'm not good enough to be a great soccer player. So then his dad's costumes every year are his two biggest fans. Oh, <laughs> my, oh God. my God. So it's a group, oh it's a group costume. And they like go they around and just hype him. And they just hype him as he walks around as his future soccer I player. I can't top this dad <laughs> fact. This <laughs> is the most wholesome thing I've ever heard in my life. Can I ask what's the candy rules for uh, Lincoln? Around Halloween? He gets one candy a night until next Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> so he gets his year he, supply. He's, he's, uh, he's trying to get that 356. That's the secret number. He's got to get 356 candies. Yeah, canonically, there's, there's, there's no only 356 the days because the Earth has changed its orbit a little bit. What are you talking about? 365 days 365, a year, Matt. How sorry. old are you? Hey, no, this is the future. There's all the days he doesn't have candy for Lent. Nope, nope. <laughs> the weight and the gravitational shift from the doodler has given every month one extra day. Day. So now it's 300. Uh, so now no, it's, it's not, no, less, less, days? Less, less days. Less days. Whatever I say is right. Whatever the thing <laughs> is to make my thing make sense. Yeah. Hi, everyone. I'm Will Campos. I play Normal Oak, uh, Perky, Chirpy, Chip, fucking Perky, Peppy, Chipper, Cheery School Spirit, Mascot Kid, and the Claritin Cleric because he has allergies. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. My dad fact about Normal today is that Normal has a big sister named Hero Oak. 
And what? Hiro is a senior <sighs> what? at video game high school. <laughs> <laughs> what? So you dare. <laughs> How dare you? You can't do that. The first right, thing Anthony's going to do is that video game high school blows up. He's going to be like, hey, on the news today, you find out. All right, well, he does have a big sister named Hero. H-E-R-O, like the character from What You Do About Nothing. Oh, oh wow. I don't think you can say it in video game high school. You can do that. Okay. No, I that's they, no I, you know, I was expecting. We have a, two of the three other stakeholders in here right now. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, but I'm the one in charge of this universe. Yeah, you can do whatever you want, Anthony. Captain. America showed up Fuck in Free Guy. baby, there's Hulk. We got Hulk in this <laughs> yeah. one, everyone. Yeah. It was, I was really hoping you were all going to get really upset and yell at me over it, and then it would be fun that I trolled you into putting mm -hmm. Video Game High School in, but now that it's like I've gotten permission, it's kind of taken the joy <laughs> out of it. And, so, that's, no. and that's how you parent. <laughs> that's great, too. It's like it's all the other universes that are canonically in our universe, like the Girl the Dragon Tattoo universe. Is yeah. so <laughs> no, no, no. That's the only <laughs> other <laughs> fictional universe that shares its canon <laughs> with <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons. You read those books. Technically, Technically, our show takes place in the real world, so any movie that took True. place in the real world True. is part of what happened in no, our world. No, it's just the girl no. with the dragon tattoo <laughs> series. Hi, my name is Beth May, and I play Scary Marlowe, a goth punk seeker of darkness who is not like the other warlocks. Oh, I guess a better way, because you guys all changed Do you the think it's better than our alliteration? She's a, 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 wacky a, a wacky warlock. <laughs> Warlock. She's a wacky werewolf warlock. She's a woman warlock. <laughs> She's a, a warlock of divorce. Warlock. All of those things. <laughs> Here's a deep cut. Rad facts. First crush that Scary had was on the evil penguin in mm -hmm. The Pebble and the Penguin. Oh. I think his name is Drake or something. Oh my God. <laughs> the sound of this movie's Google search results reaching above <laughs> two over the last year for the first time in a decade. Don Booth sat up from his nap in a cold Wait, sweat. Oh, oh, guess who plays the evil penguin? It's Tim Curry. Tim Curry. It? Yeah. Oh, okay, that makes sense then. He's just guest on. But, but he's hot. Oh, he's this hot. is a zaddy penguin for sure. Yeah. I see that for scary. Yeah. It's weird to see a penguin that has teeth. I'll put that on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yikes. That's true. And, they have wears a cape. <laughs> and Tim's leg day and his oh. whole muscle on top. Oh, man. There's some this is a disgusting I feel like film. I get scary better now, though, honestly. I, I feel like I do, too. I feel like I just <laughs> understood her better. I'm Anthony. I'm your dad. So the bad news is today I was late, but the good news is that I got to meet Beth's mom before we started. And I know what you're thinking. I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to make jokes about how I'm going to get to third base with Beth's mom or anything like that. I'm not going to make jokes. It's not like a joke. That. I am going to talk about how I'm going to get to second base with Beth's mom. <laughs> no. We are going to do so much over the clothing petting, so much, so much PG-13 groping and caressing. Last episode, you tracked down a kid named Abe Ghoul, Lou Bega. Wait, so was uh, he actually Lou Bega? He wasn't no. actually Lou Bega. He so had, if your name anagrams is someone else, you just channel that person's energy? Is that what yeah, it is? Yeah, my think, I mean, I have my own head cannon for it, but got maybe it, it will it. be relevant later on. Yeah, he bonded with an acolyte of the doodler and tried to take parts of a bunch of different ladies to make a weird science kind of homunculus like ultra woman for himself to date. You stopped him. You got Erica Drippin's teeth back. She's uh, absent for this episode because she's currently getting them all put back in. She's too popular for She's us. too popular for you, frankly. Not for Taylor. Not for Taylor. And then, yeah, uh, yeah that night, uh, a couple of FBI guys came to Link's ah, house. That oh, that's back. right. Yeah. 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 They wanted to know why he uh, went to the police. The non storytelling of this season is a lot like Pulp Fiction. It's really fascinating. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We pick up at school. It's Friday. The dance is tonight. And <laughs> while all of you are in your separate classes, your badges vibrate and you get a message saying that you need to meet in the gross bathroom. And you immediately know what that is because there's one bathroom on campus that has never worked. All the stalls are clogged and horrible and it's stinky and nobody ever goes in there. And Pepperoni Tony keeps saying he's going to fix it and he never does. Lincoln has not been into any of the bathrooms. He thinks they're all... <laughs> Wait, is Lincoln still pissing outside? No, he holds it. He thinks all the public bathrooms are gross. Oh. So he's like, the gross bathroom. So Lincoln is going to enter and look around in every bathroom. <laughs> oh, Normal on his way from wood shop covered in splinters, uh, sees Link walking around and says, Link, no, the gross one's over here. Is That's the, not the gross one. Is it the one. girl's bathroom? That... Don't go in the girl's bathroom. That's oh. illegal. Oh. Hey. Hi, Taylor. Wait, what? You need me to go in the girl's bathroom? Is that the gross one? Yeah. Well, I just assumed the girl's one was really nice. Do you guys, no, what do you get up to in there? Oh, <laughs> Could you talk man. a little bit a little We bit just about... put tampons everywhere. Wait, what? Yeah, no, girls' bathrooms are completely disgusting. All right, so well, now you got right me one. wondering which bathroom is the gross bathroom. I text back on my badge. 
<laughs> I ask, what bathroom do you mean? So she says, girls' bathroom near the field. Wait, but we can't go in that one. I think if Scary writes us yeah. all a note and we all go in with Scary, we can go into the girls' bathroom. <sighs> okay. That's what an ally looks like. Please, <laughs> please forgive these freaks as they come into the girls' bathroom. Right. It's super necessary. I tape it on my shirt. <laughs> I tape that on my shirt. Okay, let's go. So inside this- Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, it's not that dirty. It's like oh, nobody's it's used on a really long time. It doesn't smell great. Like it feels like the toilet's probably <laughs> clogged a long time ago, but it's not like the shit's still in them or anything like that. All the stall doors are open and May Hales steps out from one of them and goes, hey, come here. What? We gotta oh, talk. Agent hey. Hales. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hi. I, she's also covered in blood. Whoa. Oh my, oh, God. Oh my God. So this is what happens in the girls' bathroom. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> Look, okay. So I found out a bunch of stuff. Okay, okay. Lay it on us. Long and short of it is that you need to get to the dance tonight. You need to be there tonight when it happens. Oh, I don't think that'll be much of a problem at all. Okay. As you say that, the announcement's starting. You hear Vice Principal Pepperoni Tony saying, VPPT. As, <laughs> <laughs> as a reminder, there's no going stag to the dance. You have to have a date. <laughs> We're not allowing no, no losers at the dance. You have to have a date and you gotta kiss them. <laughs> That's the rule. No losers. Pepperoni Tony out. And Mayhale goes, oh yikes, no well that's a that's way. a you problem. I tortured that weird monster you brought in. You what? I got some information from him. I tortured him. Okay. What is that not? I no, mean, you can't do that. It's We're too late boss. now. You can't untorture a goblin, but oh, oh well, I mean you're my boss, so do you want me to like not do that in the I future? Think just in the future. Run it up. Past yeah. us, I think. You were situationally okay with torture. I just, people. I can't. I look, lady, I'm 14. What do you want yeah, from I, me? I mean, I you're know. my boss. I mean, I, it's, it's fair. Okay, it's fair. I didn't even get any information from the torture. I just, oh, good. Oh, no, what a relief. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I just asked him, it. and then he didn't give me anything useful after I tortured don't, him. It was just waste don't time. do that anymore. Okay. Or right. if you are going to do it, don't tell us about it. That feels worse. I'm not saying that. <laughs> that feels way said, morally worse. No, I'm saying don't do it. But if you do... <laughs> We're kids, we can't hear these things. There's lots of things adults do that they don't tell us about. So let's keep that relationship between the adults and us teens, okay? Okay. I but don't won't. do it. I won't, she says, no, winking at you. that sounds like you're going to do it, though. But you said that I could, and just not to tell you, and I'm not no, winking. You could. Not going to torture somebody. Look, don't. But if you do. If I did. If you do. But I wouldn't. But you won't. Leave a note. In this bathroom, and then if we want to know, we'll check the bathroom. How about that? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can okay. do that. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Um, but yeah, but Please. don't. I won't. She says, taking out a notepad, <laughs> writing, I tortured that thing you found, and then putting the stick it note on the door. That one doesn't count because you already told us about that one. I flush it down the toilet. <laughs> all right. Well, it doesn't the work clogs, at all. The toilet's the toilet's clogs. Clogs. It just oh. stays red. Now I tortured that guy just sitting in the toilet. <laughs> the important thing is the place that he came out in was a school, which like was obvious because that's where you found him in that kindergarten. And he said that the creature that he was with said that it, quote, didn't want to start a run mid-session. So then they went to the kindergarten. So I used that info and I narrowed the search to high schools and I found a big energy reading under yours that's been building up over time to an incursion tonight. These incursion holes, they match up with a different name I saw repeated in your dad's files. What was that? Oh, yeah, I don't want to. But like somebody named Nicholas, he said that if you go and close a hole, you would get a lot of it would be a glorious thing. You would get a lot of glory. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, oh, thank God. It doesn't matter. Great. I was thought you were going to connect on that. And we're going to have to keep saying glory hole, but no, no. It's an incursion That's hole. a cool name. No, glory that is a cool hole. Hole. That where glory. They're incursion holes. That's way cooler. Glory, glory holes. Glory holes sounds pretty cool oh, to me. No, I feel like no, a soccer no, no. would be cooler rather than like kicking it in the net. You kick it in the glory hole. No, you I don't. Yeah. Yeah. No. Hey, hey uh, Scary, what do you think about glory hole as the name of a Hold band? Hold on, Taylor. That's... The coolest name I've ever heard. Oh, God. Oh, print up some God. merch and distribute. I oh, think everything would be a real so bad. hit. Oh, Glory this is why I didn't have kids. Oh, fuck. Oh, this oh, sucks. Oh, man. Well, that's great. We'll just cancel the dance. That's great. Nobody has to stress out about going. Or, yeah. Or just kissing anybody. We can't. Yeah. Asking anybody cancel out. the dance. Cancel we the cannot dance. do anything oh, you can to just... cancel the dance. Why I need not, to be Taylor? clear that this dance is happening, motherfuckers. Why, Taylor? What's Taylor, up? Taylor, let me break it down for you. Here's what's going to happen. You're going to go. You think you're going out with Erica Drippins. I am. You're going to say, hey, Erica, do you want to slow dance? And she's going to say maybe later. And then that's going to happen a couple times. And then the dance is going to be over. I clearly remember her saying no. She did not. I mean, she didn't say the words no, but all the words she said put together she sounded a lot. She furrowed her brow and nodded. 
That's a yes. Mm. Mm. Be that as it may. Scary. Did she say yes or no? Recording D and Dads right now. Would you go out? <laughs> Are you texting at least? Okay, let's tell your friend. <laughs> Whoa! Wait, scary. Scary. You got Erica's Holy number. Shit. Scary. You got Erica's number. I don't know why you have to worry about this. Beads of sweat <laughs> gathering <laughs> on Taylor's forehead. I texted Elise. <laughs> Risky text sent. Uh oh. Uh oh. What'd she say, Scary? Oh, that was to a different text. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, we'll figure out later. Oh, it says, your, it says my post base is on the way. <laughs> also that, and like, weirdly, there are sort of tunnels, and she points into the stall, and instead of a toilet there, there's just this big kind of platform. Not to freak you out, but this is another form of uppy downy machine. And she oh presses the button, and it whoop, shoots downward, and she goes, yeah, I went around looking after I finished killing the, the little thing that you brought me. That you I killed it, too? Oh, oh, it, so you're upset that I killed it after torturing it? Yes. Would it be better if I didn't How, kill it after torturing it? I, if we I, didn't I, want you to tell us about torturing, why would you think you'd want us? You know what? I'll take that in. I also I, won't, winking, kill anyone after I, winking, don't torture them. Miss Hales, this is going to come up on your performance review. And then as you look up at Taylor, he's got his thumbs up. <laughs> so anyway, if you ever want to get to Daddy's HQ or any of your homes or the school really quickly, uh, there are these tunnels uh, that connect to all of them. So, so. Wait, wait, wait. there's fast travel tunnels. Fast travel tunnels. Hey, that's a, good way, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, I guess there's fast travel. Okay, how do we close these holes? Okay, so yeah, that... I don't know. We gotta know. find something to plug the glory hole, right? But basically, like, the glory... The, the, <laughs> we gotta jam it. something into it. the glory hole, No, Link. yeah, you... Uh, well, um, That's not the good. thing I didn't kill told me that it only actually appears in space when it's spitting something out into our world, the incursion point. So I guess you just kind of have to sit around, wait around for that thing to sort of open, and then maybe you can we have close any, it Did you get any it. idea as to where in our school such a thing, a portal, might open up? Uh, it's going to be in the, the cafeteria, which you're using for the dance. And also, you uh, managed to stop the on-the-sauce person from killing anybody, and you did it without, this time, killing anybody else. So you get... Uh, a horse was injured. Oh, uh, well, that, I mean, no horse can really be injured as long as they live in your heart. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, you get... <laughs> You get 10 uh, Daddy Warbucks for that. Wow. wow. And she hands them to you. For some reason, these are like almost all Will. Yeah, um, that makes sense. Daddy Warbucks. Daddy Warbucks. Will Will I wanted to give you these. And she upgrades your badges. She taps them with a little digital stick. And it says, uh, Daddy's, you know, and then your name. And it says level two, because you all wow. leveled up. Yay. Um, yes. Is this like growing up? We got stronger? God. Not really. Like growing up, like you think you're stronger and then you get a little bit stronger than that and you realize like, oh, I actually wasn't, I was actually weak. Like it's not a straight line. It's not, okay. I have I a lot know. of, I have I a lot of stuff I can cast speak on. with animal without expending a spell slot now. <laughs> That's going to be so fun for anybody who might have to voice those animals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like we wouldn't have the FBI help us or anything, right? Because yeah, none of you guys had the FBI, like you, right? Wait, had, what do you mean? What about the FBI? No, you, you had the FBI show up last night. Me neither. I mean, so. no. <laughs> well, roll deception with disadvantage, Link. I got a natural 20. <gasps> with disadvantage. Ooh. So that's a shame that that doesn't got to mean anything unless you roll another natural I've 20. I stopped listening once you... 15. 15. Okay, so everybody roll uh, perception and if or insight, rather. I know that he's lying to me. I got an 18. I believe him. Got a natural <laughs> one. <laughs> Taylor is clueless. The FBI stopped my torrent network of fine animes, but little did they know that I'm all just, I had to yeah, do I was just, you know, just making sure that nobody, that, yeah, it's just good that we haven't gotten in trouble yet. So that's great. Normal texts link a question mark. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. That Bezos energy. But I leave it at that for now. I text him back. I say, I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> and I look at him. I just I text back dot, 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 question mark, question mark. Does normal text you guys while he's no. with you? <laughs> normal, what's up? What happened with the FBI, man? No, that's what I just mm. said. Nothing happened with the FBI. Well, that's why I'm I brought just, it up. You know, normal, lay off him, all right? Yeah, Norm, like, why are you so suspicious, man? I just get a vibe that Link isn't being you're entirely being hella, honest with You're us. being hella among us right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm not trying to be among us. I'm not saying anyone yeah. is suspicious. I'm not saying. If something happened with the FBI, I'd tell you. I did tell you when the FBI came over to my house. FBI, FBI came over to my house. Wait, yeah. what? Remember, remember a couple years ago when we prank called the president? <laughs> the president! Well, the FBI showed up. Those were good times. Yeah, man, I missed yeah. that. Yeah. I was sharing a lot of Disney animes and, well, you know, well. the local newspaper tells <laughs> the sordid tale of that one. <laughs> Cut to Family Guy style, a front page of a newspaper, local teen raided by FBI. And you see a younger Taylor in the doorway, like screaming and being held back by his mom as like the FBI just is like smashing his computers. It is so deeply emotionally crushing to me that you refer to a jump cut to a flashback as, you know, like in Family Guy. You know, like a Family Guy. <laughs> so Mayhale says like, okay, well, if the FBI did, like, we don't 
fuck with the FBI. Like, they're bad. They're bad. What? We're not uh, big fans of the FBI here at Daddy's. So. How about the police? No, not, I mean, the police just don't listen. Firefighters? Like, the FBI and, uh, yeah, hot? firefighters are fine. Okay. Ambulance drivers? So I'm going to head back to HQ and okay, bye. not clean up yeah. a lot of not blood. So we have to find a way to shut down this hole. More than that, you need dates. I mean, there's four of us, so we just pair up. Why don't we just go out with each other? Yeah, just pair up. I'm I mean, taken. Well, we haven't You're figured that out taken. yet. You're not taken. she's responded? No. I'm just saying, like, if I was I going... Either, either I'm going out with Erica, or I need to make sure that I'm available in case she says yes to that text no, message. No, I am reserved. I Taylor, for our dads, we got to stop this thing, which means we need dates, otherwise we're losers. I will not besmirch the good name of my date by committing <laughs> to another date without... Confirmation. There's a knock on the bathroom door the outside of the We're room. busy! Hey, we're busy! We're all, yeah, this Wait, is our clubhouse. it could be somebody we could date. <laughs> oh. Hey. Hello. So you open the door and it's Hermie the Unworthy and he goes, mm, hello. Oh. Hello, <laughs> scary. Uh, it might well be uh, perhaps someone perhaps that you could perhaps date maybe. I just noticed you were uh, in the scary bathroom, the gross bathroom for a while. I thought something may have happened. I just wanted to check <laughs> to make sure you were safe. Uh, I'm a, I am a very... Considerate man, uh, as you can see by my checking on you. I just know that you're you're doing fine. So I'm going to uh, just gonna I guess unless you had something you want to ask me, I guess I could just uh, give you give you the space <laughs> that you require uh, because I'm a good because I understand I, I accept yeah, I, I respect the me. agency of a woman. I think I need. Some, I, uh, yeah. I'd love to give anyways, you what you need, whatever I'm it is dealing you need, with a lot to. right now, and oh, I think yes, I just need some space. Some space, yeah. Yeah. Happy to give you some space. I can, uh, I can like, uh, like wait outside for, and we can talk. Yeah, more. we're all really like, we, we got can, a lot of stuff. We're taking a long time in here, man. If you could just give us. Oh, there's many people in there. <laughs> yeah. You. All friends, right? Just friends, just just friends. Just, <laughs> yeah, all so friends. friends. Perfect. Hermie, go away. Okay, go away. okay, okay. That kitten's got claws. Look. <laughs> 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 and Hermie, Hermie steps away by walking backwards, but still maintaining eye contact. Oh, oh my god! No. All right, so no one's okay, going look, out with Hermie. That's I mean, for sure. Look, okay, fine, Taylor. We'll figure you out in a second. But like, right? The I mean, well, all right. Like, so how do you, you want to? Do you want? It's you... not a real date. So, like, can you just go with normal, or whatever, or like go with me, and then the, the other one will find one. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> okay. Well. Everybody knows that going with your friend is like w more embarrassing than You're, I'm even your friend. Well, yeah. Oh. Okay. Wow, wow. Dude. you better watch it though. Yeah, because yeah. Here's right. what I propose. As you can see, while you were talking, I lied I about made... the FBI. I can't lie to my friends, but I can't say anything more about it. Okay, just trust me. Okay, they came to my house. That's all. Let's you know talk about what? game dates. I want to give you a high five right now, a school I, spirit high five for. I don't know if I'm allowed to do that. Us. They say a lot of confusing stuff to me, so I'm just gonna stay low and I'll, I'll talk to you guys more when I can. Let's just get these dates, okay? All right. Well, okay. as you can see, I've constructed construction paper flyers advertising each one of us and our various qualities. And there's see these little tabs here, so I figured <laughs> we could put these on the community announcement okay. bulletin board, and then anyone that wants to date us can just grab one, well, and then we'll pick one. My first step was I was just gonna go through. We have the list. So I was just gonna go see everybody who said no. To me being a pervert, I was going to hit them up first. That's a great, that is like a good way to narrow it down. Unfortunately, wow. it does look like everybody actually said I was a pervert except for Erica. And I don't want to get on Taylor's thing, but I was like, maybe I'll just ask her. What if she winds up going with someone else, and then you and Taylor can go together? Oh, like that's you guys fine. Can I, I, I said, let's pair off. That's fine. I think that it's fair. I mean, listen, that won't happen. You should have another backup because I'm going with Erica. Okay, but you will go with me. If Erica, for some reason, gets sick or okay, so is unavailable on the scary. record Come day on, can you just go with normal? Then we all yeah, got dates. Yeah, I guess. And you can just pretend That's to kiss fine. or I, kiss. I, it I doesn't matter. Well, here's anybody the else, thing, whatever. Norm. Norm. Yeah? If we go to this dance together, you can't wear the mascot outfit. <gasps> Are you serious? I'm Norm, serious. Norm, you need to find the woman who loves you for who you All are. All right, let me go look. And if I can't find anybody, then we can talk about it. Okay. I go and I put a construction paper bulletin on the community announcements that says, like, it's me, normal. You know, the guy in the mascot costume. Would you like to go on a date with Teeny the Teen and talk about school spirit and have a fun time? If so... Rip one of these things off and put it in my locker and with your name on it. Really quick, Ooh. Beth, can you send me Elisa's number? Are you going to? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are you going to text Elisa? That's really good. Oh, That's really no, good. Beth, wait. I got to. 
No, no. you fucking don't have her I'm going to text you. Yeah, goddamn right. I'm texting her first. I'm texting first. I'm texting first. No, I'm texting no, first. Right. No, I have to text her. I need to know if my date's going with another person. You should both text her. I'm te- <laughs> we're good. Okay, here's what we'll do. We don't get to see what each other say, but we both write our messages, and then we hit send at the same time. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. I was going to send in character. But we don't hit. you have to hit send at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on, wait, wait, right? Okay, so I have my text message done. You have yours ready? Yeah, I've already sent it, dude. What? No, oh, okay, on three. <laughs> One, two, three. No, I, I Son of a bitch, it. you can't. You what, fucking. What are you doing, Taylor? I just, I'm just asking. It's not a big deal. Do you want to read our text? Okay, yeah, I'll go first. Yeah, read your text a lot. What do you say? I, what do you say, Taylor? I said, hey, Erica, this is your boy, T Swift. Just checking in on what time to pick you up for the dance. Smiley face emoji, lady dancing emoji, thumbs up emoji, three sunglasses emojis, and the avocado. I just wrote, hey, Erica, it's Link. Hope your teeth are better. Sorry about my hand in your mouth. But glad, <laughs> it, all, but glad it all worked out. Anyways, I just need to know if you're going to dance with Taylor. Not a big deal. Just your answer. We'll decide if I need to find another date. Have a great day. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Have a great day. And keep oh, being- <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> just texted Elise like recording D and dads right now would you go out with Freddie's character <laughs> have, a, have a great day and keeping your best self best link it's a real Wolverine Cyclops situation <laughs> no, oh my god it is <laughs> we're both we were both fighting for Taylor <laughs> no I mean for her that's her choice no her choice is Taylor or not I'm not asking to go with her I'm asking if she's going with Taylor or not well you did you did it definitely so sounds I'm like I need to find another date if oh, you're going Wait, is Red like I was asking her out? I was trying to say that if Taylor. Well, no, because you said like that she oh, needs God. to. Yeah, I was not just cool, saying, dude. Oh, okay. Not cool. I was trying to do you a solid. Like, I didn't want to tell her that you also promised me to go on the day. I was just like, hey, just to be clear. <laughs> hey, just to be clear. Roll a D20 to see if your phone dies. <laughs> I got 19. Oh, I need to roll to see if I die. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, roll your D100. Oh, yeah. Hey, just to be clear. And roll your, uh, I'm your not wisdom saving threat to not jerk out. off. It's that. If you don't go with Taylor, I'm going with him. <laughs> I got a 59. I'm still alive. Still alive. What am I rolling? The masturbation? Uh, uh, wisdom saving throw. A 10. So I think you say it's 3 nice. okay. right now at this point? I, I, I think, think so, yeah. Holy shit. It pays to not masturbate, kids. I don't know what to tell you. You yeah. did put up an advertisement. I okay. put up a construction okay. paper advertisement. Okay. So I feel like that's a persuasion roll with disadvantage. Because a piece of paper is doing the persuading for you. And your reputation is probably not amazing. My reputation has preceded me. Well, I got a 10, so... <laughs> I guess one person should answer then. So Hermie the Unworthy shows up and he goes, Hello, normal. I see you uh, require companionship to the dance. Is it like meet under the tree outside? Like, oh, where sure. are we to do these, like, interviews and auditions? In the note, I said, like, take the green tab and slip oh, yeah, it into yeah. my locker. So I feel like what happens is I open the locker, I see the green tab, I close it, and Hermie the Unworthy is <laughs> <on> the <inside. laughs> Oh, uh, hey, hey Hermie, what, uh, what's up, dude? Don't visit your locker very much, I see. I mean, uh, yeah, I've just kind of been waiting. I, you know, I've been a little nervous that no one was going to answer, but someone did. Isn't this crazy? Yes, isn't it? You answered, didn't you? A gentleman never tells. But that's specifically the point was to- Yes, I guess it was me. Yes, so hello, do, you, hello. do you want to go to da- the dance with me, Harmy? Uh, the question is, do you want to go to the dance with me? Uh, I mean, like, I, you know, it would have been kind of mean for me to put this out there and then not say yes to the one answer. So if you want to go, like, I just, you know, if this is like some weird thing about scary, though, because like we're probably going to go together. So if this is just an excuse to hang out with scary, I'm kind of not into that. If you're suggesting that I would want to- <laughs> Hang out <laughs> with a man who refuses to take off a mascot costume just solely to increase my own cachet by seeming so much more attractive by comparison in a formal situation. <laughs> if you're implying that I am have some sort of machinations that you are merely a gear in the larger cog and machinery of. That is what I'm impl- I guess that's what I'm not. I'm, imp- I'm asking you. Is Frankly, that that's offensive. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. To think that I could be so. Devious. <laughs> <laughs> These pauses, dude. All right, does he make a persuasion check? Is he trying to deceive me? <laughs> Why don't you roll insight? Oh, no. I got a seven. <laughs> he could be telling the truth. He could be lying. Who well, knows? Well, you know, Hermie, maybe I misjudged you. Uh, Perhaps you did. It's, you know, Maybe I, you can make up to me at the dance. Okay. okay or well, maybe you can convince Scary to make up for me <laughs> at the dance. Or maybe it's just you. Maybe I'd be happy either way. I don't, I don't. Or maybe there's only one way I'd be happy. I feel like you should have to make another persuasion check if you're going to bring You have to make another insight check. All right, I got the 19 now. All right, come on now. You you got greedy, man. You got greedy. (laughs) I can't, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, but I'm sure you're a nice guy. If, you know. Of course I'm a nice guy. I mean, you're not, but if you learn to be a nice guy, I bet you could, some nice girl or guy or fella or lady or whoever would like you. So just 
Maybe try to not be so much of a creep in the future. So make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. I got a 19. Okay, so he tries to shove you into your locker. You, you see it coming a mile away. I step out of the way. Okay, so he just puts his hand forward and then steps forward trying to shove you the locker. You step out of the way. His hand hits the locker, and then he like very swiftly like turns as if he's just leaning against the locker, and he goes, look, <laughs> God damn, he's smooth. Let me be real with you. Mm -hmm. In the words of Jane Austen, you have no prospects. <laughs> Nor do I. The only chance we have of getting the people that we want is to be at that dance, wait for their inevitable heartbreak at the end of whichever knuckle-dragging buffoon they had decided to go with because you know as well as I that girls love to go with assholes. Mm -hmm. So I just wait for that asshole to break her heart. And you can wait for some asshole to break somebody, I don't know, whoever, whatever you're interested in. And then who's there to pick up those pieces? Who's there to reassemble that broken, broken woman into something that will make out with me? <laughs> that's oh my me. God. And that's going to be you. You know what? I'm going to reassemble your broken pieces, Hermie Unworthy. And I'm going to show you that maybe it's time to just have a good time with someone and not have to worry about all that stuff. So you know what? I will go out with you because, frankly, I think someone needs to keep an eye on you. Perfect. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that sounds good. You got a date. Perfect. All according to plan. At least texted me back. <laughs> <laughs> so Taylor takes one look at his phone and goes, hey. And puts it away and says, I'm all spoken for. I'm sorry, Link. Oh, that's okay. I just want to make sure. Yeah, You're going to yeah, need to find said... someone, but I'm more than happy to help you out. Yeah. <sighs> Link would not give this away to the rest of the crew because he respects Taylor, but I do want to just shout out Elise's role-playing via text, which is Elise sent back. Link, how did you get this number? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I'm going with Taylor. <laughs> Their mom is rich. <laughs> Let me read you. But I would not say that to you because yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, I look at you. I kind of give you a sad look like, oh. I'll read that. I'll read the Lisa's text back to me. Her response was, uh, do you have money, a car? And then I responded, yes, my mom is rich and I have a self-driving car. She will loan me guaranteed. And then her response was, okay, fine, but don't tell anyone. I reserve the right to change my mind. And we enter separately. <laughs> and then my response back, which I haven't heard back from is, so, so, like, do you need a ride, though? <laughs> Great. Okay. She right. never texted me back. <laughs> <laughs> True role-playing genius. Yes. All right. Guys, I got a date with Hermie the Unworthy. I think I can fix him. <laughs> oh. no. hey, so he just needs some school spirit. He just needs to realize that because he goes to this school, he's a number one teen who can believe in himself. Link, okay, if I go on, like, one speed date, and then I don't like him. Uh huh. Maybe we should go out. I'm just saying. Oh, okay. That's fine with me. Guys, I gotta admit, I, I've been homeschooled and like, this is really confused because like, I've never been on dance before. And I was like, are we trying to do it to like get to the dance? Or are we trying to do it to find love? And both of them scary to me. <sighs> you're I'm just, just trying not, to figure out you're not who I'm helping going with. So like, I just <laughs> wanted to get there. So I was going to go out and be a chaperone or something. But I'm, I'm cool with going with you, Scary, if you don't like the boy or whoever you're going to go talk. Go on your date. You have, you're on a date now. That's cool. I don't care. Oh, this is great because I actually went ahead. I got carried up in the moment and I did put up a construction paper flyer for you, Scary. <laughs> oh, my God. So there should be some options waiting for you in your <laughs> locker. Oh, she opens her <laughs> locker. So I I rolled a D20 to see how many responses you got, and I rolled a 19. Wow. So a Kellogg's Pop-Tart Locker situation. Yeah, you have your pick of the litter of all the school's most eligible bachelors sure and bachelorettes. Make sure see all 19 so that Anthony has to role play all 19 tweets. <laughs> I was actually thinking about doing literally exactly that. If we wanted to do speed dating where I yes. do 19 different do personalities okay. and voices. Or we could round robin. No. Oh, that's true. We could round robin. Oh, that's, that's, pretty that. okay. that's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> so Anthony, here's what I want. I want you to Discord Matt. Will myself like no, just we'll all come in with different personalities. Uh, names though, I want names. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. You okay. throw me names. So I just grabbed nineteen names from our Patreon form where people can submit names, and I just plug them into our Discord so we can do a round robin of speed dating. You go first, Will, and then it'll <sighs> go to me. All right. So Becca Cornstarch walks up to Terry in her marching band uniform and says, "Hi, Scary. I saw your note, and I thought it was so nice." Next. <laughs> Dick Spencer, <laughs> Australian. <laughs> Dick Spencer's the name. Dick Pleasure is the game. Well, I don't have a dick. You don't? You, oh, well, fuck you then. <laughs> <laughs> Next. That's ah, me, Billy Steezcack. Oh. Just been, uh, we were coming back from the weight room, and I just saw, you know, I was just working out my quads. It's a leg day. You'd never skip it. I mean, I saw you have a thing up and you're looking for a debt. So I was thinking, uh, you know, you and me, 
What do you say? Tell me about your favorite music. Oh, it's just a lot of like classic rock, like 30 Seconds to Mars. Uh, no, Paramore. Paramore. Oh. Uh, like Panic at the Disco. Panic at the Disco. Led Zeppelin 2. Led Zeppelin 2, the second Led Zeppelin. <laughs> Sounds like you're in the really gritty stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, whatever it takes to get that pump. You know what I mean? I think I found my. <laughs> no! Not this guy! Not this fucking guy! Oh, cool. At least hear what Matt's gonna do with Yarn the <laughs> no, Untangler! No, oh, there's this me. dude behind me who's just been like. Yarn the Untangler comes sprinting to the table. <sighs> is, is your name scary? Yeah. <sighs> have you. Has, have you. Has the date been taken yet? <sighs> has the date been taken yet? Bro, I think what? Shin and I are gone, bro. Oh, wait, is this. This is the right place, though, right? Yeah, yes, you're in the right place. Oh, right. Fuck! Okay. Fuck. All right. He, he runs back. He leaves. On he, the way back. He uh, clearly does not go to the school, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> he just, oh, my God. He just, runs, he just runs off campus. Don't know who this person is. Hey, Scary, hey, did Link, you find a date? Link, I think, yeah, I think I'll go with you. Okay. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> okay. Wait, what? Well, yeah, that's the great. classic teenager move of saying yes to somebody and just going with someone else. Yeah. Oh, Cut to the weight room where Billy Steve's cake is lifting weights with all of his bros. Uh, we'll roll a quick D20 to see how well he does on this bench. Steez cake. Steez cake. Not Billy Steez Billy cake. Steez cake. <laughs> roll the <laughs> natural 20. <laughs> oh my He's God. So, so Billy Steez cakes, a weight spotter, Ken Hippo Griffey Jr. is like, so how did it go with scary, bro? Bro, totally locked in. You know what I'm saying? Just oh, like these reps. Great. That's cool. All right. A tear falls from Ken Hippo Griffey Jr.'s face. Man, oh. I really would have loved to go on a date with Serenity Mousepad, though. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, yeah, that's cool. I mean, that that's great. Again, this is just for the mission. It's not like, I'm glad we figured this all out, right? It's we all just got for dates. the mission, Just yeah. for the mission. We all got dates. You're going with, who are you going with? Hermione the Unworthy, I think. Wow. He just needs friends. He just needs a positive, you okay. know. We know that the dance is happening in the cafeteria, right? Yeah, I think yeah. so. That's where the incursion's going to be. So we want to be Johnny on the spot, you know, right there. We need to pre-prep the cafeteria with weapons tools, anything oh. we might need because we don't know what we're going to face, everybody. That's true. So Taylor just sits down on one of the toilets and flushes it. Nothing happens. How do we get... Isn't this yeah, the yeah, secret fast, room? How do we get... Fast travel? One, one of them was just doesn't have a toilet there. It's just a platform. It's an up downy But it's not like a fun, like, it looks like a toilet, and then when you sit on the toilet, it sucks you down? I've changed my mind. That's more fun. <laughs> so there's a toilet that when you sit on it, it sucks you down into a tube. We should oh, a little yeah. There's no pooping for this toilet. Like, out of order. <laughs> oh, yeah, a, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Good enough. idea. Yeah. Big old no pooping, please sign. No and no peeing, too. Wait, wait. No, okay, wait a second. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like if you tell teenagers not to do something... Oh, they're shit. Most, okay, we should put no pooping on all the other... <laughs> on all the other toilets. And that's that will true. For sure make point. it most likely point. that this is the one toilet Link. nobody would poop in. Link, Link you've got a, you know, for a kid who's been homeschooled, <laughs> you really understand the, insight, the mind of the high the school. The insight oh, wow. that Link has into the mind Thanks. of a teenager. So, uh, yeah, you do that, you get, you get sucked through like a pneumatic tube, but it's man-sized. It doesn't shrink. We don't change like a Santa sizes. Claus situation yeah. where no. smushed down. No, you do not get Santa Claus. You just get sucked through a pneumatic tube all the way back to uh, Daddy's HQ, and you pop out uh, in front of the big old vending machine. Wow, this awesome. is right where we wanted it. <laughs> <laughs> this form of travel That's is great. remarkably convenient. Okay, guys, here's my thought. Okay. I'm really curious about those keys. I think we should try one of those keys out on the obsidian How much door. Ten. I, I think they're ten each. We got ten. Oh. Let's do it. Yeah, let's yeah. use one of the keys okay. and blow it on the obsidian door. I really want to see, like, I feel like maybe we'll get some clues about our dad behind this thing. So you spend your 10 bucks, you yes. get a jeweled key, and when it touches your hand, you feel that you are closer than you've ever been to extreme <gasps> power. Wow. Uh, actually, if, if anybody wants to roll Arcana. I rolled a 16 Arcana plus one, 17. Oh, wow. Okay. Scary, did you just get taller? Maybe. You seem like, doesn't she like, she's got like a glow. You get a vague sense that whatever is behind this door you feel like you'll level up a couple times at least if you go into this fucking door. Whoa. Um, Whoa. Like everybody who opens it? Yep. But you have to, there's four locks on it. What right? happens yeah. to the key? Oh. Like, does it get like locked in there? Do you want to try it on the lock? Yeah, I mean, I Yeah, we have yeah. one of the keys, right? Yes, you have one of the What's keys. What's it look like? Uh, so it looks like. <gasps> Ooh. Whoa. Looks like this. Whoa. Wow. Okay. So it's like a legit old ass like key. Antique Spooky shop key. key. Anthony, where did you get that? Etsy. Oh. oh, shit, got for real. Okay. I okay. don't know why I did, though. <laughs> <laughs> for this, I'm, look, I'm looking at it now, and I'm realizing you didn't need this. Did you, get four, <laughs> did you get four of them? You didn't. I did. Okay, well, that's great. And I don't know why I did that. Well, give it to Beth. 
And she probably feels really cool now holding that key, and we're I all going to want really that. Cool. Yeah, and I want a key, too, so we're going to keep playing the game door so we all get keys. It's like gameplay. I Listen, love it. DMs so out we, there. Thank I, you, Matt. Should I put it in the door, or should I wait until we all get the keys? I don't know. Let's just see what happens when we put it in the door, I guess. Okay. Okay, so if you put it in the door? Yep. Uh, and you turn it? <laughs> I have mine, I turned by the way. it. So, Scary, as you turn the key in the lock, two things happen. Firstly, you feel a great deal of power infused into your body. A door. <laughs> no, I did it? The, yeah, well, you just yeah, you just feel a lot of energy coming through it, and you level up. Which oh, levels up? Yes. Yeah. Yes, just scary. And the second thing that happens is you hear a voice echoing in your head, and it says one word, and it's a voice that is not really familiar to you, yet somehow feels familiar in a non-specific kind of sense. <laughs> okay. But so you like hear- the movie trailer guy. <laughs> yeah, like the movie trailer guy. It's like, no one knows his name. John you- LaFontaine, back yeah. from the dead. <laughs> you hear the word POWER! <gasps> oh my god! What? Whoa. Holy shit! What? Wait, do we hear that? No, no, no. It was just in Scary's head. Okay, but we heard it. Like, Matthew Arnold heard it. I, I, I can't say you didn't. You're in the room with me. <laughs> so Lincoln made a doesn't noise. give a shit. No, Lincoln doesn't give a shit. Yeah. Now, is, now is, you learn about whatever good. the opposite of uh, dramatic irony is, where you have to pretend <laughs> that your character doesn't care. It's like I'm in a J.J. Abrams movie, and yeah. someone just told me their name was Khan. Yeah, exactly. Oh. <laughs> scary. <laughs> such a weird duck, Will. <laughs> scary, what, like... Scary, what, uh, what happened? What? You have a glow about you. You looked like you heard something in your head just now. Oh, man, did I? Well, well what'd you hear? Wait, you did hear something? You, you look more heard... powerful now, too, yeah, you know? Well, that's the thing, I... I think I heard. Yeah. No, it couldn't be. <laughs> We're gonna be late for the dance. The dance is tonight, right? <laughs> the dance is tonight. I, I I promised Erica that I'd pick her up. I gotta go. I've rented a limo and everything. Can I come along to pick up my date in the limo too? Is that all right? All right. I've upgraded the limo to a bus. <laughs> Okay, so you stop by Erica's house, and- The bus is attempting a three-point turn in this cul-de-sac, you know what I mean? Sure. Uh, yeah, you knock on the door, and Dr. Drippens answers the door. <laughs> Dr. Drippens DDS. DDS <laughs> opens the door. I look in the driveway, and I note the four Lexus convertibles that they have, because fucking orthodontists make bank like nobody's fucking business. Correct. He's got a car, and he's got, like, one of those big, like, plastic teeth on, like, a spring that goes back and forth. Like a Django <laughs> and Jane? Yeah. Like a Django what? what? In the future- he Christoph Waltz's <laughs> giant spring- In the future, oh dent- in the future <laughs> dentists come to you. <laughs> Can I ask what's his novelty <laughs> license plate that he would have on his Lexus convertible as an orthodontist? Oh, um, it's brace yourself with all the vowels gone. Fuck, that's good. That's so good. <laughs> that's on the top of the dome. <laughs> Fuck, Anthony's Holy the best shit. in the game. Dude. <laughs> brace yourself. <laughs> Fuck, that's good. Uh, hello, Mr. Drippins. I said doctor. I'm sorry. And oh. that's a woman you're speaking to. <laughs> <laughs> on international... the dad! We're recording this on International <laughs> Wait, Women's said- Day. I said, Dr. Drippins <laughs> opens the door. I do believe Go I- back Hold to on. the fucking Hold tape. On. Anthony, I do believe that Elise, a woman, in the last episode said that her father was a dentist. She yeah, didn't well, say that her mother wrong. wasn't also a dentist. <laughs> they could have I been in dentistry school. I think I see the dad, also a doctor, in the kitchen doing dishes <laughs> while her mother, also a doctor, answers the door. Oh, yeah. I can't <laughs> give this child a retainer. <laughs> <laughs> this is my son. my son. Oh, um... Hello, Dr. Trippins. I'm here to pick up Erica for the dance. It's tonight. Oh, uh, Erica's waiting for you at the dance. She already headed out. I'm sorry. I, I thought. Oh, just a little. Oh, you know, crossed wires, as it were. Yes, popular, <laughs> popular kids. They, they meet at the dance rather than before. <laughs> oh, crossed oh, wires. Well, I guess I'll just. Um, <laughs> I go back to the bus. I guess Erica's already there, guys. All right. Well, the next house is Hermie Unworthy. Oh, by so... the way, how, how is everybody dressed? I want to know how everyone's dressed oh, for the uh, dance. Oh, let's see. Uh, Normal has so the, um, mascot? the mascot outfit. He's in his formal wear this evening. So it's like a big oversized tuxedo t-shirt and like oh, like wow. black extra size jumbo shorts. So that's what normal's got on. Scary is wearing a gorgeous dress, black, obviously. <laughs> None of that high heel shit. She's wearing sneakers. Also gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> and then also black. Taylor's dressed as an RX-78 Gundam. <laughs> <laughs> 
to Google that one. Self-made? Yes. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Like vacuum it's a form. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Like, it's like with the shoulder pads, okay, like out yeah. to the fucking nines. He has to walk sideways what? through every what door. What a chill mom Dr. Drippin's DDS is who <laughs> yeah. have not mentioned or remarked on a robot coming to pick up her daughter for the dance at all. The moment he closed the door, the two doctors laughed. Yeah, yeah. You immediately hear them just being like, oh, well, it looks like Erica lied to another child. I mean, <laughs> Lincoln, since he recently had a gross bird, all of his nice clothes uh, don't fit anymore. So the <laughs> nicest thing he has is his soccer jersey. So he's wearing that. In his hand, he's got a couple presents for everybody. First, he's like, hey, so I got this. And I was like, wait, that's stupid because like we're not really going on a date. So I got everybody a corsage. Can we just all? So, oh, that's really nice. Uh, yeah, so Scary, here's one for you, but I also got for everybody else. I thought I should do this before we pick up Hermie because I didn't get him any anything. Oh, yeah. okay. I see there's a rose garden in his house. I'll just rip one of his mother's prized roses out of the garden okay. and give it to him. That seems like that'd be fine, right? I love yeah. that no one knows it's prized roses. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're gonna rip one of those prized roses, but they win every year. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, you th is that bad? Are you not supposed to do that? Go ahead. Do it. I use my lines and I just want to say I feel like uh, I didn't go to school before and I know it's been a little, I've been a little bit maybe grumpy, maybe haven't been the best. And I just want to say, I really, I'm glad that we're friends now. And I feel like you guys are my friends. So I got you all a little something for the dance to kind of show that we're a team and I got everybody cool bracelets. So <gasps> like, can you all... Yeah, they're just like... It's not going to fit over my gun. It Gundam. might not fit over my costume. I, like, kind of shimmy my arm out to, like, put it out. I was trying to get them to, like, be, like, a thing, but, like, they're just yellow bands. I just wrote your names on them. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, my God. It's like we're a super team. This yeah. is great. Um, and know. then uh, Taylor kind of, like, struts over, and you hear, like, as the actuator motors, like, you know, well, it's just, like... So it's not just cardboard. This is, like, got motors in it. Or is he making that noise with his mouth? Uh, hard to say. You know what? <laughs> Taylor, I want to say I believe in you, so I also got one for Erica, too, if she oh, wants to nice. Of the team also. Taylor puts his uh, Gundam hand on your shoulder and says, you know what, Link, for the biggest pervert loser in school, you're pretty cool. Oh, cool. Well, thank you. Okay. Well, I don't know what you I said. Think, I think you're pretty cool. Oh, thanks. You want to put them on? I, you yeah. Know, I just yeah. want to yeah. sure. go on the record as saying that I was the first one to think you were pretty cool. <laughs> oh, thanks. Wow. This is really. And you know, maybe that means, you know, I'll be the first one of all of us to think Harmony Unworthy is a cool guy. Eh. Uh, I gotta say, like, nah. every minute before this dance, I was crying with my dad because I miss my other dad, but this is really feeling good right now. <laughs> so I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I'm with you all. That's some very powerful high school energy yeah. coming into that. Okay, so do you guys put the bracelets on? Yes. yes. What buffs do we get? Uh, friendship. Friendship, I guess. Okay. Matt, if there's a fucking wire in this bracelet, this is some <laughs> FBI sting plot, and you <laughs> fucking <laughs> serpent code our asses, I'm going to be furious. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of house does Hermie live in? Uh, he, he lives in a decently suburban house with a very large SUV in the driveway that makes you think like, oh, that dad is compensating for something. <laughs> And it must run in the family. What does his custom license plate say, Anthony? Oh, it says... Uh, do no Herm. It's do no, do no Herm. <laughs> do no Herm is way better. <laughs> do no Herm. Also a doctor. Uh, yeah, he's also, also a doctor. A, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of doctors in San Dimas. Um, okay, so yeah. Normal gets us like, okay, guys, just, you know, like, I'll go in. I'll lay the groundwork once again with Hermie to be cool. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there, okay? Taylor holds his hand out. Hold on, wait, before you go... I'm just going to scan in my targeting computer. Does it find any? I want to say I got a 15 on my check to see whether he's actually a Yeah, I want to roll if he's got a computer in there. I mean, you can roll whatever you want. Freddy's the one who's going to have to answer because I don't know what the fuck he did. It's basically I've repurposed Google Glass 2.0. <laughs> They tried it again. <laughs> it's just as bad, but it's just as bad. <laughs> so it's like, if I squint, I can kind of see my email. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's like really small still. <laughs> Wish me luck. I'm a little nervous. I don't know why. Ugh, I just never done something like this before. Go get okay. him, buddy. Do you need us to be near? <laughs> Matt definitely gestured patting Norma on the butt when he said, go get him, buddy, just so everyone's aware. Go get him, Tiger. <laughs> so Normal steps out of the van and walks up to the front door and looks at the roses, but thinks better of ripping one out <laughs> of the garden and rings the doorbell. Hermie the Unworthy opens the door and he's wearing a tuxedo. He's fucking dressed to the nines, like frankly overdressed for a school dance. Mm -hmm. And he goes, congratulations, <laughs> like, Tiger. This is your lucky night. Fuck. 
J line. <laughs> yeah. Fucking yeah. Spider-Man. Face it, Tiger. You just hit the jackpot. Just hit the jackpot. <laughs> and he just strolls past you toward the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine to have that much confidence in high school? <laughs> like even Taylor is intimidated by this oh amount of confidence. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Taylor like kind of scoots out of the way, brings uh, uh, moves okay, his shield uh, well, out of the way. Nice to see you. Just uh, we all just had a really nice friendship bonding moment. So you know, just if you could be cool, that'd be great. He turns over his uh, shoulder and he goes, I can't not be cool. I'm Hermie the Unworthy. And he like what sauntered, <laughs> saunters up okay, into the bus. Real quick, real quick. Teen Huddle really quick. What the fuck happened to Hermie? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Hey, like, did I miss yeah. something? Norm, you said you invited Hermie. That's not Hermie, right? Is that Hermie? Yeah, I think it's Hermie. Everyone, this, you all remember Hermie from school? Uh, well, hey, Hermie. We're, he we're waves, but just with I. two fingers. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Um, hey, well, welcome to Taylor's bus. Yeah. Yeah, it's a cool bus. Thanks for picking me up. We going or not? We're going to have a quick group chat. Just the, the bracelet holders here, okay? The bracelet. <laughs> wow, you guys are real cool. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah and that's fine. I'll just be in my phone on my Zoom. Um, this is maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Hey, Hermie doesn't know about like the whole, like, this is more for me just putting it on my own mental kind of energy here. Like, we're here to, like, stop something. This isn't actually a dance. So I'm going to stop having fun. Okay, I'm just talking to myself. But, like, that's just, right? Well, mission, mission, yeah, right? Well, yeah, yeah, the okay. mission comes first. The mission, for sure, comes yeah, first, yeah, right? Okay. Two or three yeah, slow yeah. dances, and what? then no. the mission. Can we let Hermie know? I don't know if he'll understand. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Hermie, you know, He's we're not going to get it. Yeah. We're all like crime fighters. We're all like, you know, kind of part of an organization that fights evil monsters that have infected this world and we're looking for our lost dads. What do you think about that? He steps off the bus. What? He goes, uh, that's weird. That's you're, being, weird? you're being weird. <laughs> Wait. Oh. What did I wait, what Hermie, I was no, saying? you gotta come. Hermie, no, wait, I gotta get to the dance. I gotta save the world. Well, you could do that uh, on your own because that sounds weird. See, this, I'm in a bus full that, of crazy people. I'm Hermie the Unworthy, not Hermie the Unliving. I don't want to get murdered by you. Well, oh. no, you know, that was a joke. That was yeah. just, you know, we're just razzing you. Welcome to the bus. You know, it's yeah, just Hermie, our little zany put on we do when we wow. pick people up. Mm, it's pretty roll lame pers- that you fell for it. Roll, roll persuasion. <laughs> I got a 17. Wow, okay. So with three, uh, <laughs> he goes, yeah, I knew you were joking with me. Come on, you think I, I was? I was joking back on you. Oh, I wow. wasn't really. I wasn't gonna leave you we high and dry. You can't get started. into the dance without a date. Wagons roll, baby, and he punches the top of the bus. The bus driver's like, "Hey, fucking please don't, please don't do that." Oh, sorry, man. Sorry. What DVD is the bus driver playing for us? Homeward Bound Two. Oh, I love that. Lincoln's already crying. <laughs> Can we turn that off? Okay. As you approach the dance, you can already hear from inside the dance. Darude Sandstorm. Uh, Darude Sandstorm. <laughs> but over that, you can hear the voice of Vice Principal Tony Pepperoni. Tony Swift singing over Darude Sandstorm. That's what <laughs> singing over Darude Sandstorm. What would you sing over Darude Sandstorm? <laughs> Look at the dance. She Look at the dance. It <laughs> Pepperoni, Tony going, so good to see so many dates, so many, so many couples out. <laughs> you you, you got to treasure these moments while you can be a teenager. Trying to keep the population of San Dimas out. <laughs> it's just, He's a weirdo. You grow, you grow up and your wife, your wife wants to talk. <laughs> To your, to your cow's own Holy making brother. Shit. It all makes right. sense now. It just, it's the most important thing to be with. Uh, you know, I met I met my lovely wife in high school and I thought we'd be together forever. Holy and then, shit. But you never know. Things change, but I'll hold on to this moment with everything you have. It doesn't get any better than this. So just dance together. Just da- oh keep God. dancing. So you hear you hear him saying that. The vice principal is like pushing him away. <laughs> no, he's, he is the vice, he's the vice principal. principal. <laughs> the real principal is like, is in the oh, corner, just like. Real principal. The real principal. <laughs> so, so top 10 things to never. Or say to a vice principal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Holy you shit, do. if the principal dies, I get to be principal. <laughs> we shouldn't be in the same car together. So yeah, and then you enter the dance and you see a lot of people dancing to Rude Sandstorm. I go, hey, what song is this? And then everyone is contractually obligated by law says to Rude Sandstorm and reply to me. They do that. But there's an uneven number of you because there's five of you. I'm looking around for Erica and I'm going to roll perception. Yeah, roll perception. Investigation to see where uh, Erica is. Hmm, 11. So with 11, uh, you this don't is a see theme. her. I've rolled 11, I think, every episode. Yeah. Interesting. Wow. What a fun thing to have be your thing. <laughs> That's <so> fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, you don't see her. She's not here. That's weird. Where's Erica, man? You got a number, right? Why don't you I, hit her up? Hit them digits. Yeah, I text her. Like, W-Y-A, question mark. <laughs> Kissy face emoji and then like the four eyeballs. <laughs> so here's the problem. I can respond for Erica, but it's no way that whatever I say is gonna be funnier than what Elise would say. So I'm gonna say that your phone dies. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I forgot to charge it. Oh um, wait, uh, wait, I've got chargers on the so, bus. The so, bus so is turned away. Can we look around for like, is there any of uh, Erica's friends? Can we 
Like, see? Margarita Pizza is crying in the corner alone with her finger reattached. <laughs> well, that's, yeah, because you reattached. Did she cut yeah. it off again? You want to ask, you yeah. wanna ask hey, hey, Margarita, where's Erica? <laughs> <laughs> Also, are, are you crying? Are you, are you, hey, what's going on? Are you okay? Sorry, no, it's hard okay. to see through this helmet. Hold on. <laughs> helmet unfurls. She goes, my fucking dad is telling everyone about the problems that we're having at home with my oh, mom cheating up oh, with sucks. his brother, the Calzone Tony. They're both named Tony. And I, just, I, I just, my date abandoned me and I can't get into Wait, the dance with my dad. Stinko Bartleby. Stinko? <laughs> Stinko's a straight shooter. Yeah. <laughs> fuck happened <laughs> i think you know what i think oh god oh no it finally happened the popular kids they have a separate dance that they go to it's not really a dance they just like go to a park Hold and they the hang out what? i think he must have gone with somebody else maybe went with, with erica or something wait they what? didn't tell me where to go because i'm not cool enough because somebody chopped my finger off and i was gross about it <laughs> hey your finger looks really good now though yeah, yeah you can't really tell thank you can you play the piano well, you did before. <laughs> oh, you're funny. That's funny. Hey, I sense it. We're down a person. Do you want to come with us to the dance? You're telling me Erica's not here in a separate cooler person dance? Uh, it seems like that's probably where Erica is. Uh, having does somebody want to roll a persuasion or something to make her join your group? It seems like life's dealt you a rough blow. And, you know, at times like these, you know, it's really important that we all help each other out, you know, and that we all come together as classmates and as friends. That's what I believe in as one of the core values of this school is, you know, uh, camaraderie. I got an eight. She goes, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, you know what? I'm not crying anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, congratulations. You snapped me out of it. This is this sucks. I'm I'm just going to go home. I'm just going to go home. And I'm hey, gonna you can just go to the party. Nobody's no, going to yeah, stop come you. On. Just stay at the party. It'll be like way like cooler. I got a 16. Wait, you're going to this party, Scary? You, yeah. Oh, I just figured you'd be too cool to go to a, a party because you're, oh. you're, you're the cool, like, the rebel kid. If you're going to the party, it must be, like, fine. Actually, um, yeah, I'm what? not. Why are you Everybody, at me? The other, oh, you're the not other, going to the dance? Okay, so we can both not go to the dance. Everybody else is like, we have to go. Scary, we have scary. to go. There's going to be a thing here. There's going to be an incursion. Scary. We have to go, scary. He points out the bracelet where, you know. <sighs> okay. Yeah, no, I mean, it's not cool that I'm doing it, but it is what I have to do. It's kind of like a birth obligation, right, to save the world kind of thing. Pretty lame. Scary, but... like, totally, like, threw away the vice principal's lunch. This was her punishment. She's not doing it because she wants to do it. She's got to do it. because I got to do it, yeah. I got a 17. Okay, so you're you're here as punishment. Well, that's kind of cool. That's kind of anti-authority, which yeah. I, is sort of my thing with my dad being the vice principal. Damn. So You know what? You could go to the dance and hear me out, ironically. What? Like as a joke on how dumb it is. Like with a and robot. This is like, um, <laughs> like with a robot. Like imagine if you went to the oh dance with a robot. Is? Oh my God. That would be so cringe. An RX-78. But in such a based way. Oh. All right. Well, Damn. which one do you use my date? RX-70. Me. Oh, I raised my God. shield. Yeah, that would be pretty ironic. Walk up to your dad and tell him, I'm marrying this man. <laughs> yes, that's what we're doing. That's why we're doing yeah. this. And she grabs you by, <laughs> by your fucking gloved robot Gundam hand. And she marches you into the fucking dance just as her dad is going like, oh, good. I thought I saw five people there. I was going to get angry about an asynchronous. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was going to say, that better be a polycule. You better all be loving each other. <laughs> oh, thank God. Six people. Uh, and then you get on the dance floor and you see Lark and Sparrow are dancing. Lark and Sparrow? Wait, yeah. Lark and Sparrow, adult <laughs> Lark and Sparrow Oak are Wait, dancing. My dad and my uncle yeah. are they're dancing in the middle of the dance floor what? and they turn to you, Normal, and they go, Oh, hey, Normal, what's up, man? Party uh, down. Oh, my God, what are you guys doing here? I'll explain next episode. All our days whisked away, but is there something more to say? You know that no one knows us better than ourselves. Used to tell myself it'll be all right. Sleep at night. I know that no one knows me better than myself. And I know I'll get this right. It's just a matter of time till we make it out of We gotta pick ourselves up and say, Not today, no, not today. We live for tomorrow.
Dungeons and Daddies is Matt Arnold as Lincoln Wilson, Anthony Birch as our DM, Will Campos as Normal Oak, Beth May as Scary Marlowe, and myself, Freddie Wong, as Taylor Swift. Our theme song is On My Way by Max and Waller. Brian Fernandez is our content producer. Ashley Nicolette is our community manager. Esther Ellis is our lead editor. Travis Reeves provides additional editing. And Robin Rapp is our transcriber. Special thanks this week to Taylor Austin, Becca Kornstedt, Dick Spencer, Max Wilcox, Jack Bowman, Zach Sam, Max Prophet, and Cassidy for providing names used during the speed dating segment of this episode. Some of the other fine patrons who support our show are folks like Caleb Phillips, Kyle Downwee, Nick Rivet, Gosh Josh, all caps, Zolia Pineda, Glenda Duffek, Dana Scarborough, Aaron Krellstein, Ryan Malloy, The Cobalt Dragon, Kellen Kremins, Caleb Holt, Brittany B, Adam Botterill, Shepor, Stephen Cooper, Billy Whitehouse, and King Hades. Directly support this show and get ad-free episodes at patreon.com slash dungeons and dads and get tons of bonus content. Did you know there are entire mini campaigns you are missing out on? We did a Call of Cthulhu prequel campaign called At the Mountains of Dadness, a Star Wars campaign called Gungans and Daddies, All That Jizz, and soon we'll be doing our next stretch goal, a Regency RPG we are calling Sons and Sons Ability. Check it out. There are hours and hours of extra audio and video for you to enjoy. Stuff that has to do with the podcast, stuff that has to do with the story, all sorts of bonus content at patreon.com slash Dungeons and Dads. Our merch is available at store.dungeonsanddaddies.com. Our website is dungeonsanddaddies.com. Our Twitter, Dungeons and Dads. Subreddit, Dungeons and Daddies. The next episode is coming out Tuesday, April 5th. We will see you then. Is Leonardo the Ninja Turtle here? Yeah, yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Did somebody Italian at the school? That's the most offensive fucking... Did somebody say my name? Somebody say my name? Somebody say my name? Somebody say my name? Somebody say my name?